So one of the more epic moments in literature is in the Hunger Games. At the end of the trilogy, Katniss is given the opportunity to kill President Snow. President Snow, president of District 12, the founder of the Hunger Games, which was a cruel system that killed kids from all the other districts to submit the people to his rule, his rule. And Katniss takes the arrow and instead shoots the new president of District 13, the new president who is beginning to institute a new form of the Hunger Games against District 12 to punish them for their actions. And what Katniss does at that moment is say, is that she says, I'm gonna put an end to this oppression, the end to the cycle of dictatorship and cruelty. So many times, the victim becomes the oppressor, the abused becomes the abuser. And the reason is because if freedom is taken to mean that everybody can do whatever they want, it's going to lead to chaos, it's going to lead to violence, and then people are going to search for a new form of order, which will end up furthering oppressing people. Moshe tells the Jewish people at the cusp of the exodus, after so many years of slavery, bondage, oppression, torture, genocide of the first kids, of the firstborn kids, the, the Jewish people are finally about to leave this land. The Moshe, instead of speaking about themes of independence and themes of a peoplehood and the nation state, instead Moshe says, educate your kids about this moment. Educate your kids what it means to be a slave. Three times he repeats it. Eat matzah from now on the anniversary of the state, the poor man's bread, every Passover. Make a Seder, eat the matzah, and recall what does it mean to be oppressed. Eat the mar, the bitter herbs, to recall the bitter times in Egypt. So many times the Torah cautions us. Treat the stranger amongst you well. Treat the orphan, the widow, the, the person in need, the convert, your friend, your neighbor. Treat them well because you were slaves in Egypt. And you know what it means to be mistreated. And that's why Katniss's misdirection of her arrow was so crucial. Because she was saying, I'm not going to give in to this cycle of oppression. Jewish people are the people of the book, Rav Salvechik says. It's not that we're the readers of the book, but we're the authors. And the readers are our kids. We win true freedom not through charisma and might, but through education. Freedom is not being controlled by others for sure, and it's not, I can do whatever I want, but it's doing the right thing. And the way to do that is through education, through Torah study. And that's the Mishnah when it says, the truest form of freedom, somebody who's engaged in Torah, Torah is a form of self-discipline, and when you're walking through the aisle and you're on a diet, you'll avoid that extra donut. And that even though it's hard for you, you'll reach out to somebody else in need. And that is Moshe's message to the Jewish people. And that was the awesome lesson from the Hunger Games.